Hi, this is Dan for Footloose Reviews. The Hotel Via Convento is a lower-priced hotel in New Orleans. It's a historic building on the eastern side of the French Quarter. It isn't a chain hotel, so you won't find a swimming pool or a fitness center. Its main advantage is its fantastic location. It's only a four-minute walk to the French Market, six minutes to Café du Monde, or the corner of Bourbon and St. Anne, which is Party Central. And if you walk the other direction, it's only a seven or eight minute walk to the music clubs on Frenchman Street. So it's really close to all the action, but it's on a side street, so it's comparatively quiet. And the neighborhood felt safe, even late at night. Here's the front desk. We were there for four nights starting on New Year's Eve. Animals other than service animals are not allowed, and full payment is required in advance. The building dates back to 1833, so it's an old building, and it feels like it. But if you ignore the electrical conveniences, you might find yourself imagining yourself a hundred years in the past, when a young Louis Armstrong was playing in brass bands on New Orleans riverboats. The hotel has some interesting history you can read about on their website. Some people say the hotel is haunted, but our visit was untroubled by any sort of spectral visitation. Here's our room. It's a standard room with balcony overlooking the street. You can see the TV, ceiling fan, and air conditioner at the top of the screen. The AC cools the room just fine, but it's loud. There's a queen size bed. The mattress was comfortable on the soft side. There are two nightstands with lamps and two mirrors. There's the sink. There are actually seven electrical outlets in this room, so you'll have no trouble charging multiple devices. And the bathroom. You can't see them in this shot, but there are two grab bars in the tub for your safety. In the shower, the water pressure and temperature can vary unexpectedly. Soap is provided, but no shampoo, lotion, or conditioner, shower cap, razor, or hooks for hanging things. The hotel provides just two fairly thin bath towels, two washcloths, and a hand towel. There's a small hairdryer that worked just fine. The picture on the TV would go out sometimes, but you probably aren't coming to New Orleans to watch TV. They offer basic cable like CNN and ESPN, as well as local broadcast channels. Our room also had an air purifier, one luggage stand, an iron and ironing board. There's an antique dresser, but the drawers stick a bit and was missing one pull. The door has a deadbolt and chain as well as a peephole. That switch turns on the power for the ceiling fan. The linens felt clean, but unfortunately one of our sheets had a small stain on it. There's no mini fridge, microwave, or coffee maker, but coffee and tea are provided downstairs. The elevator is old and squeaky, but it'll get you there. We found the stairs to be more convenient. The halls are reasonably wide. Someone online said that not all rooms have Wi-Fi, but our Wi-Fi worked fine. On the ground floor of the hotel is a nice little open-air courtyard. Just off the courtyard is also an ice maker and vending machine. Here are the sorts of things you'll find in the machine. Directly across the street is a nice little bakery that sells coffee, croissants, danishes, that sort of thing. Not everything in our room worked, like this light fixture and this clock radio. This looks like there was a smoke detector here once, but it's gone now. Also, there's no phone. Our balcony was nice. There was a little table and three chairs overlooking the bakery. I told the nice man at the front desk that I'd forgotten to bring a toothbrush. He apologized and said they didn't have toothbrushes for guests. But there's a quaint, old-fashioned looking drugstore half block away. There's also a modern drugstore an eight-minute walk away on Decatur Street. A block and a half away from the hotel, there's a laundry that if you drop off your clothes in the morning, will wash your clothes and even deliver them to your hotel that evening. 
One of the best things about the hotel is the people who run it. We emailed the staff questions before we arrived, and they gave us a detailed and personal response. They held our luggage after checkout on our last day and arranged for our transportation to the airport. Bottom line, based on our room, I must say, the Via Convento is, to be frank, a shabby old hotel. But one person's shabby is another person's quaint or charming. I can't recommend it for the average traveler. But the hotel has three great things going for it. One, its excellent location. Two, the moderate price. And three, the good people who run it. Okay, happy travels.